So um, this is Bianca from Raw Careers Talk. So I recently wrote an article um, called Stop Shooting All Over Your Career Decisions. Um, and it came about from a couple of appointments I had where um, people were transitioning in, from education into a professional role and were really struggling to make um, a decision between um, two or three options that they had. So um, they came to the appointment kind of having that expectation that there, there's a right or wrong here and I need to discuss it through with a careers consultant to, to come to the, the right decision. Um, lo and behold, they, they, they didn't realise they were, they were getting me who, who simply doesn't believe there is a right or wrong decision. Um, it, there's even having that frame of mind um, is going to put instant pressure on yourself um, and it will impact on your de de decision making style um, and it won't be an authentic um, decision that's made with a, a clear head and one that's true to yourself. So first thing to, to reframe is that there is no right or wrong, um, but there is your way. So there is a, a decision that, that will best meet your needs. And it comes down to a lot of um, understanding where the shoots shoulds are coming from so is that external factors and um, community influence family influence or just this general sense that you 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 should be doing something um and having that kind of awareness and insight into to where to where that pressure is coming from and it might well just be yourself that you're just putting that pressure that you feel you should be doing something at a certain point in your life so really kind of reframing that and and having that insight um, and also having some perspective as well. So Dave Redicott, one of my idols, he has, a, has an amazing TED talk, which I, you know, rewatch to, you know, year in, year out. Um, there's, you know, every, de every decision is a career decision, he, he, he says. So he um, outlines in his TED talk how, you know, there is no such thing as one career decision that you're going to make in your life. Um, it's very rare to make very big decisions actually you know choosing to have a cancer treatment choosing to get married have children those are big decisions career because it's a journey and it's very small steps it's all these decisions small decisions that you make and you accumulate over time that um, that allow you to end up wherever you end up at certain points so it's not a static concept it's a very fluid one um, so having that perspective on career journey as a journey, not a destination, and that going to university, choosing to study a specific subject, that's already a, a decision. Um, choosing to leave school at, you know, in fourth year and going to do an apprenticeship, that's a career decision as well. So really, you know, important to bear that in mind. Um, and that will also help get some perspective on the, the should and shouldn't and right or wrong decision making. Third thing is I would say it's fundamental to have some self-awareness and understanding of how you make decisions yourself. So everyone's got their own decision-making style. Some people sit down and write pros and cons lists. Other people go with their gut feeling. Other people have to talk it out. Um, some people make decisions quickly. Other people take time. So, <coughs> so it's understanding where you <coughs> so it's having that understanding um, of yourself and and how you make decisions look at the last time you made you made a decision you've already made so many decisions in your life why is it so different that the bigger ones the, the way you approach them are, are different any different to the smaller ones really um it's just the the our outlook and our, our perspective on decisions we perceive to be big and that there is a right or wrong way in that sense. Um, so yeah, so I think three things, um, if you're feeling that pressure on yourself, like I, I can't decide between these two things, and what should I do, what shouldn't I do, what's the right or wrong thing, reframe should and shouldn't, understand what external influences there are impacting on you feeling that you should be doing something and what is right and wrong. Um, having that um, outlook on careers as a journey and um, it'll allow you to kind of um, maybe approach it with a more natural flow um, and understand the fluidity of, of there is no such thing as a big career decision in your life and um, it's very small ones that you'll make and also understanding yourself and how you make decisions um, and there's another good really good TED talk Ruth Chang on making hard choices as well and she kind of 
reframes um, how when we are faced with them um, choosing between two two things um, we perceive one to be better than the other um, but without knowing what the outcome actually is so how do we know one is better than the other and again it's to do with the mindset and that's a really good TED talk as well I'd recommend to watch and um, thinking fast and slow so that's by Daniel Kahneman and um, he's a, that's a really good book as well about how we process information how we make decisions and it's very much really you know related to everyday life and um, and to career decision making is is part of that really so yeah I just wanted to uh, talk you through why I wrote that article stop uh, shooting shooting all over yourself so if you want to read it it is on the um the the blog page uh, raw careers talk 